Hey what is up everyone this is Abhishek and welcome back to another exciting After Effects tutorial. In this video we will be learning how to create some really nice laptop screen logo reveal animation in After Effects. So let's check out what we are going to create today. Alright, if you guys are new here, please consider subscribing and make sure to turn on post notification. I upload templates and tutorials related to motion graphics on this channel, which you guys don't want to miss out. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. Alright, now I am in After Effects. So in order to create this animation, you guys need an image which has this laptop screen. So I just downloaded this image from unsplash.com. Uh, I will provide a link to this image in the description below in case you guys want to use this one. Uh, you can use any image you want. Uh, just make sure it has a laptop or a, some sort of screen. It can be a smartphone, desktop or anything that you want. So after importing the image in After Effects, let's just simply drag it on to this composition icon so that it will create a composition for the image and let's just quickly rename the image name to laptop and once you are renamed with that let's create another composition and let's call this animation and we are going to make it 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can go with 20 seconds or whatever you want just click on ok so this is the composition in which we will create all our our animation so let's create another composition for our logo let's call this logo and make sure the width and height are 500 by 500 and let rest of the things will remain same just click on ok now let's quickly import our logo also so you can use whatever logo you want i'm going to import two logo so let's just import our youtube logo over here press s to scale it down something like this so that it fits into this logo composition and let's go back to the animation composition and over here we will create a solid background so you can go to layer new solid or you can use my quick new script which is completely free link for that will be in the description below so let's make it white something like this and let's drag our logo into this composition so like this maybe we can scale it down something like this and now let's go back to the laptop screen and over here you can see that we have the background which has the all the desktop and setup and over here we have the main screen so we are going to replace the main screen with the animation footage so in order to do that just simply drag the image animation composition into this over this image and here you can see that the size of the background is quite big which is good because we are going to scale it up so let's just scale the animation so that it fits the entire screen uh, you do not have to be precise just make sure it roughly fits the entire screen and let's just quickly hide this animation composition by clicking on this icon and let's select the rectangle tool and we are going to draw a mask for the screen so on top of this corner just simply click and drag and just simply drag it roughly so that it covers the entire screen and something like this so this looks good for now just hit enter and let's call this mask and once you are done with that let's just enable the background layer and you can set the track mat of it to alpha mat so if in case you are not able to see the track mat option you can click on this button icon something like this and after that just set it to alpha mat and here you can see that we have the logo right now in the laptop screen so our next step is to animate the screen so let's do one more thing let's create a new composition let's call this main and for this one we are going to change the width and height to 1920 by 1080 and over here we are going to import our laptop screen so just simply drag the laptop over here and as you can see that the size of this composition is really large so we can scale it down something like this and let's just quickly animate all the things so in the beginning we want the scale to be something around here so that it fits the composition and as the time pass so around three seconds we can zoom in quite a bit so something like 120 or something and also make sure to animate the position so that the logo will be zoomed in exactly in the center so over here we can change the position and lower down something like this so here you can see that now the animation is zooming into the logo so let's just select the 
laptop layer and press U on the keyboard twice to reveal all the keyframes and select them press F9 to ease them then go to the graph editor and you can play around with the graph to change it something like this uh, maybe not this let's just do it opposite way so in the beginning we want the animation to be really slow and as the time passed we want it to be like just jump straight into the zoom part so something like this and if I go back and play it out so here you can see that we have this sort of animation so in order to really sell this out effect we need to add another effect so let's create a new composite uh, let's create a new adjustment layer so you can use again this script and let's apply an effect called optics compensation and just simply drag it on top of this adjustment layer and we are going to add a keyframe for the field of view also make sure the reverse lens distortion is checked and over here we can press u to reveal the keyframe and let's just move it somewhere around here and in the beginning we want the value to be zero and after something like 10 frames so i'm holding the shift key and pressing the page down key and let's create a keyframe and let's change its value to 180 degree sorry 180 and then select the keyframes press f9 and again with the graph editor you can play it around something like this so here you can see that we have the zooming kind of effect over here and you can pretty much play around with the position of this effect so i think this looks good just play around with its position so where it looks really nice so over here this is looking fine so let's just go with that and now let's go back to the animation composition and over here we will animate our logo so in order to do that we need a cursor so just select the pen tool and right now we are going to draw a triangle so it does not have to be perfect just simply some random shape something like this you can maybe do it precisely but for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to do it something like this and just quickly make sure its anchor point is in the center something like this and let's just scale it down something around here and now we are going to animate this cursor so we can maybe rename it so let's call this cursor and let's position it somewhere around here in the beginning and let's add a keyframe for position so pressing p add a keyframe and somewhere around two let's move the position to something like this and once you're done with that let's select the position path and you can go to the pen tool and if you click on this button you can see that we have now these handles so you can now make a curved path something like this so if i select this one and click over here now you can see that we have this really nice curved path so our cursor is following that and let's just select the keyframes press f9 to ease them then go to the graph editor and we can maybe change the graph to look something like this so this is looking nice maybe we can play around with the rotation of the cursor so press r for rotation and let's just add keyframes so sorry just add a keyframe in the end and in the beginning we want the cursor to like follow the path so you can just move around randomly something like this so if i place it over here and play it back so here you can see that now the cursor is moving really nicely and again we can easy ease them but we do not need to do that so let's animate the click so press s on the keyboard for scale and add a keyframe for scale now press page down twice so that it moves the pointer or the timeline indicator two frames ahead and let's lower down the scale something like this and then again press page down twice and let's again copy the keyframe and just simply paste it by ctrl c ctrl v so that it clicks on this icon maybe you can increase the space between them something like this and once you are happy with the click you can animate our logo now so let's just drag our logo over here and in the beginning we want the scale and rotation animation so just pressing s and r to add a keyframe and now let's move these keyframes to further apart something like this and let's change the scale to zero and rotation you can 
let's go with negative 45 like this and let's just move it over here and select both of these keyframes press f9 to ease them then in the graph editor let's change its value to something like this and if i play back here you can see that now the logo animation is happening so right now you can play around with the timing of all these layers so here you can see that the cursor comes maybe it's too slow so we can select all the keyframes and let's just move them further apart something like this and let's just align it over here so if i play back here you can see that the cursor will come and let's just align the logo animation so the cursor comes and it clicks and now the logo is appearing let's just make it quite faster something like this maybe we can move the cursor over here so that it comes after the click so here you can see that now we can maybe play around with the scale to increase the click value so let's just quickly do that and let's just zoom in and can maybe lower it down quite a bit so over here you can see that now the click animation happens and after that the logo is appearing so once the click action is done we can add a fade out to the cursor so press t for opacity and add a keyframe and little bit ahead let's make it down to zero so over here you can see that the cursor comes and after clicking it goes away so that's it for the logo animation part so once you are done with that let's go back to the laptop layer and over here you can see that the cursor comes and the logo is revealing and after that let's go back to the animation sorry main composition and over here we can see our animation which we have done right now so let's just place the timing of everything correctly so let's when the cursor comes we want the screen to zoom in and once it has clicked we want our logo to appear and after the logo has appeared we can maybe play around with the position so let's just go over here and you can move the position little bit up so that the logo is visible something like this so this is looking fine for me and once the optics composition effect has reached 180 value we can then again go back to somewhere around here and just copy the keyframe and paste it so that it will just simply grabs the whole screen and after that goes back to normal so over here we can just simply trim the laptop composition so i'm holding the alt and the right square bracket so over here you can see that once the animation is done it will goes back to normal and let's add a solid over here so let's create click on this solid button and let's just place it below and we can change its color back to white so over here you can see that after the click our logo is gone and we are back to the solid and over here we can add our text whatever we want so let's just type any text you want so i'm going to type my youtube name you can pretty much type anything you want just simply align it in the center of this composition and maybe play around with the scale however you want it to look and just make sure that it starts right after the animation has ended so something around here and if i play back here you can see that we have this really nice animation going on so after the logo comes and here you can see that our text is now revealed so you are pretty much done with the animation and in order to enhance it little bit more you can add some like animation in the background so for example after the cursor has clicked you can add a little pop over here to make your logo stand out something like this but if you guys don't want to use that it, that's completely up to you so this is how you guys can create some sort of these animation maybe we can do one more thing we can add some animation to our text also so let's add a keyframe for scale and r for rotation and then press u on the keyboard to reveal them and in the beginning we can increase the scale quite a bit something like this and let's change the rotation to something like this then select the keyframes press f9 then we can play around with the graph to look something like this and we can maybe move the keyframe so we do not need the whole animation for the text just the ending part so over here you can see that now the text is appearing with some slight scale and rotation animation which looks really nice i think yeah so 
this is how you guys can create this animation now let's do one more thing uh, i have a free animated background pack so i'm going to import one of the animated background so just to show you guys how you can use the animated elements in the background so let me just import the animated background so over here you can see that i have imported my animated background so if i go back to the animation composition i can drag the animated background somewhere around here and maybe i can scale it down so it's a 4k video so you can scale it down again the link for this in in the description below and maybe we can place it below and let's just play around with its transparency or opacity let's just set it to something like this so over here you can see that we have some really nice animated elements going on in the background and let's just go back to the main composition and over here you can see that now we have these animated elements along with our logo so we can add the same animated background again over here also so let's just change its opacity and scale it down quite a bit something like this and over here you can see that after whole the animation is happen you can see that now our text is revealing so that's how you guys can create these kind of effects in after effects and you can use whatever logo you want so in case i want to use different logo i can just go to the logo composition and i can drag whatever logo i want so for example let's go with this after effects logo maybe i can scale it up something like this and if i go back to the main composition and if i play back here you can see that now we have the updated logo so something like this and this is how you guys can create these kind of animation so if you guys have any query or questions you can ask me in the comments below again the download link for the project files will be available only on patreon.com and if you guys want to support my channel you can join my patreon page and get some exclusive template and projects file like this so that's it for this video this is abhijek and i'll see you in the next one